The reason the lighthouse was actually built was to actually stop people escaping into Bahamas because the captives, the American slaves, the enslaved Africans were run away for the black Sem Seminoles seeking freedom from slave catchers and the plantation masters, which was the British at the time, secretly worked their way down to the Cape Florida. It was the other way around. In the 18, 1820s, people from this land who was captive brought over to the land for the plantation, sugar and other, actually tried to escape into the islands in the Caribbean. And uh, one of the closest ones was 107 nautical miles from the Andros Islands, which is part of the Bahamas, which is uh, dugout canoes, the Indian dugout canoes. So the people of this land helped the captives brought in for slave, for plantation work by the, the slave masters and the plantation masters try to escape and then of course uh, uh, the construction of the Cape Florida Lighthouse by the federal government in 1825 was effectively to block the escape which uh, at the time the British were helping out <laughs> to escape into the Caribbean and then, of course, they get there and they were used, they were again enslaved into doing all the, you know, go to Bahamas, Nassau and places like that. You'll see that. And then Cuba, Haiti, the islands, the European colonizers of the Caribbean. And then uh, additional destination along the Florida Underground Railroad, the Bill Braggs, the Cape Florida State Park, takes its name from the Visionary Miami newspaper, which is a civil rights activist from 1960. <laughs> what a flight to freedom by James Hutchinson, 1976, occurs at the Historical Museum of South Florida. As you walk, you read up whatever is written, and you think, well, this is, this is exactly what is going on in the opposite direction now. Uh, people are Fleeing. Oh, look at this little iguana. Look at this one. 